An MI6 squad is tasked with rescuing arms dealer and potential asset, Mulvaney, from the Italian Alps. To get close enough for accessing the encryption key and ensuring security, Rachel Stone, a member of the tech support team traveling with Bailey, is called upon to infiltrate the Ski Lodge Casino. Despite not being a field agent, Rachel is compelled to undertake this mission due to the internet being offline. The only available option to gain access is by physically breaking into the security chief's phone. Stone played a hand of blackjack at the casino to maintain her cover before seemingly disappearing. The restricted gaming area is then accessed by field agents Parker and Young. They uncover a disturbing revelation, bets are being placed on the number of terrorists killed in an actual battle involving U.S. Navy SEALs. Additionally, a method to breach military-grade encryption has been discovered. Mulvaney's security team thwarts their plan to inject him with a substance that would simulate a heart attack. However, Parker manages to isolate him and transports him via a cable car. Kia Dowen intercepts their conversations, revealing that she was already aware of MI6's imminent arrival. More of Mulvaney's men are gathering at the base of the cable car station, as Stone and Young can observe. Parker has a slim chance of survival unless MI6 arrives beforehand. Stone pretends to have a twisted ankle as the MI6 continues without her. In order to covertly assist the MI6 team, Stone gets in touch with Charter, the covert peacekeeping group. Jack instructs Stone to position herself in front of the cable car in an attempt to prevent Mulvaney's security crew from killing Parker. Stone is aided by Jack in acquiring a parachute and skiing down the mountain ahead of the cable car. Stone eliminates the six-person security squad while concealing the bodies. Before they can apprehend him, Mulvaney swallows cyanide, though. The MI6 crew faces reprimands for their errors in London. Later that night, they reflect on the supposed charter as they relax together. It is rumored that Charter comprises ex-intelligence agents who operate independently and autonomously, a group of immensely skilled agents dedicated to upholding global peace, even through methods their respective governments wouldn't sanction. According to MI6, Kia is believed to be associated with Charter. The upcoming task for MI6 involves probing the potential breach of military-grade encryption. Upon Stone's arrival at the Charter headquarters, Chief Nomad condemns her behavior. Charter has managed to track down Kia, the hacker who successfully cracked the military-grade encryption. Kia's backstory reveals that she was an orphan living in Pune until a billionaire named Nayam Karch recognized her potential and took her under his wing. However, following this, Kia, who is currently 22 years old, became involved with a group of criminals. To lure Mulvaney, Kia orchestrated the casino scheme. Mulvaney had been investigating a quantum computer referred to as the Heart, which possessed the capability to hack into any system worldwide. Charter has located Kia in Lisbon and intends to notify MI6 about her whereabouts, enabling Stone's MI6 team to pursue her. While in Lisbon, the MI6 squad comes under attack by multiple assailants. Despite Jack offering an escape route, Stone opts to remain and protect her fellow MI6 members. Her decision results in her own exposure, allowing Parker to eliminate the other team members. In the process, Parker paralyzes Stone, alluding to his pursuit of the heart. Parker reveals that both he and Kia were aware of Charter's infiltration of MI6 personnel. Parker's objective was to identify the compromised members. As per Parker's account, Mulvaney informed him that, the heart, serves as the source of Charter's power. It possesses the ability to predict future events with remarkable accuracy, essentially granting control over the world. The heart's location can only be disclosed by a member of Charter. Rachel is provided with a hacking gadget by Parker. The Charter's retrieval team locates Rachel and transports her to their headquarters. Here, the plan entails Kia utilizing the gadget concealed within Rachel to breach Charter's computer systems and gain access to the heart. Upon awakening, 
Rachel takes matters into her own hands by eliminating the device, stabbing herself to remove it. Nonetheless, during the brief span of 3 minutes and 45 seconds, the systems were compromised. Jack reveals that the heart is situated within a blimp called the locker, positioned at an altitude of 85,000 feet in the atmosphere. Considering their uncertainty about Kia's capabilities, Rachel suggests that shutting down the heart is a prudent course of action. However, Chief Nomad decides to remove Rachel from the case. Nomad contends that if Rachel had followed the instructions to escape, everyone would still be alive and the heart would remain secure. Like a deck of cards, Charter assigns names to its agents. The other kings are introduced to Nomad, the King of Hearts, as well as Mark Evanier's portrayals of the King of Clubs, King of Diamonds, and King of Spades. According to the kings, Parker visited Chechnya in 2015 with the objective of preventing the flow of weapons to a Chechen warlord while operating for MI6. However, he became trapped, and his entire unit perished. Due to oversight by Charter, the transfer of weapons into Chechen hands was prevented. The drone strike authorized by the kings successfully destroyed the armaments. Although they believed Parker had perished, he managed to survive. Presently, Parker seeks retribution, being well aware that Charter had issued the order for the drone strike. Working independently, Rachel employs Kia's hacking techniques to trace her own location. While pursuing the locker, Rachel simultaneously tracks Kia's movements in West Africa. Kia implants a code into the locker and employs her hacking skills to drop it to an altitude of 40,000 feet. Prior to Charter regaining control and raising the locker back up to 85,000 feet, Parker will have 8 minutes to secure the heart. Despite the absence of any agents within a 500-mile radius of the locker, Charter detects the hacking activity. Rachel, having gained familiarity with the African terrain, takes to the skies and performs a skydive maneuver to reach the locker. Meanwhile, Kia and Parker have already accessed the locker after arriving there by helicopter. Rachel successfully boards the locker. She attacks Parker while Kia retrieves the heart. As Kia and Rachel descend, Parker triggers an explosion on the locker and manages to escape. Utilizing a parachute, Kia ensures a safe landing for herself and Rachel in the heart of the Senegalese desert. Although Parker has possession of the heart, Kia's biometric attachment renders it useless without her presence. While aware that Rachel could eliminate Parker, Kia opposes such an action. Kia asserts that Niam's medical experiments were responsible for her parents' demise. Her objective is to expose billionaires like Niam by employing the heart. Rachel proposes an alternative plan, overthrowing Niam through the charter without necessitating the destruction of the heart. Subsequently, Rachel provides Kia with a tracker. Upon their arrival in a town, mercenaries employed by Parker's associates initiate gunfire towards them. Kia is apprehended and taken captive, while Rachel manages to evade capture. Six of Hearts, another agent from the Charter, intervenes to rescue Rachel. As Rachel is moved to Iceland, she informs Nomad of her whereabouts. Together, they devise a plan to confront Parker. The Charter's ultimate realization hinges on preventing Parker from activating the Heart. As Parker successfully links the Heart, Kia activates it while Rachel arrives in Iceland. Tragically, Parker employs the heart to eliminate the King of Diamonds. Meanwhile, King of Hearts and her team are uncovered in a bunker located outside London. Parker seals the bunker's entrances and shuts down ventilation systems, resulting in dire consequences. Kia is distraught, as the initial aim was to expose the Charter's existence rather than engage in fatal actions. In Iceland, King of Clubs arrives accompanied by an elite squad, yet Parker remains vigilant about his movements. Kia calls Rachel discreetly and informs her that her tracker has been located. It is being utilized by Parker as a trap to lure clubs and Rachel to the wrong location. Kia informs Rachel that she was right about Parker and gives her directions. 
The King of Clubs and his entire squad are obliterated due to Parker's remote detonation of an explosive, but Rachel manages to escape. Kia bars Parker from the heart. With 50 minutes to rescue Nomad, Rachel journeys to Parker's whereabouts. Upon arriving at Parker's real address, Rachel engages in a fierce confrontation to gain entry. With Kia's assistance, Rachel overcomes Parker and successfully incapacitates him. The entire Hart's crew is rescued as Kia activates the Hart, unlocking the bunker. Impressed by Kia's actions, Rachel extends an invitation for Kia to join the Charter.